Hey everybody, uh, I haven't posted a video in a while, but um, you know, I'm back on board with things, different platforms, content creating in general. I thought what better way to get back in the swing of things is with this uh, new statue from Todd McFarlane. He's been doing a collaboration with Marvel lately, which is kind of monumental. It could only happen in the year 2024 because Marvel usually works with Hasbro and McFarlane has his own toy company, McFarlane Toys. Well, here it is, a union of uh, talent and uh, history at that. Um, so, yeah, this is basically a Chase variant. Not many people even know about this. There's no news outlets, you know, like pop culture sites covering this. This is only popping up secretly. It's, again, it's a Chase variant. You can find it on eBay. It's, it's kind of hovering around, like, Colorado, California, Arizona. But I had to, like... There's a bit of a finder's fee for me to get this because, you know, I'm, I'm hardcore when it comes to Spider-Man, especially the black suit era and Todd McFarlane's art, like, that whole early, like, well, late 80s, early 90s, that is such a primo time. That's kind of my era. So, yeah, this is nice. Um, I'm going to show you up close, so I'm going to do the whole unboxing reveal for you. And, uh, yeah, let's just get right back into it. All right, here we are looking at the outer packaging. It's a nice uh, presentation, premium packaging as always with these type of collectibles. Uh, again, this is retailing for $50, but on eBay, they're hovering between like one to $300. So it might eventually be more readily available in retail. Not sure if it's like a Walmart exclusive or not. Again, it's a, a chase, so it's kind of, the hunt is on for this, but not many people even know about it. And uh, oh yeah, and here's the, UPC, you can freeze frame that if you need to for some hunting. And yeah, so I'm gonna get this unboxed for you. Well, here we are, quick little, uh, I'll, I'll give you more up close details, but yeah, it's out of the box. We got a nice little replica of Amazing Spider-Man number 300. It even has a little collector's card, nice touch. And uh, yeah, this little diorama, diorama, diarrhea. <laughs> um, <laughs> basically uh, you assemble it it's it's kind of hokey but it actually works for what it is if you just want to have it you know on display or you could like take it out it's not like something that has to be there but it's optional it's a nice little bonus but i'm gonna give you up close really more zoomed in details just to showcase uh what you're getting here all right yeah it's just really popping off that cover with all this uh, dynamic posing and uh, it has a little bit of cell shading, that great little, mostly on the foot detail, but it has uh, some highlights of blue mixed with the black. Translucent webbing, that standard uh, iconic spaghetti webbing that McFarlane was known for. And yeah, a little detail, it's all plastic. And again, this is like a PVC plastic, it's, but it's pretty solid. It, you don't have to worry about it being fragile as much as uh, if it was like polystone, resin etc. Um, my only drawback with this, and it's minor, um, this is basically, he already released this pose with the red and black suit statue, and you can see these little indents, the lines that connect all these things, and and they even embose the, the eye parts with it, you know, before the white comes out. So again, it's really just a repaint, recolor of the red and black suit statue he, he presented a little while ago. But other than that, it's still, again, it's the cover, it's iconic, everything about it is a really uh, well done piece, and especially if you look downward, that's so cool. Um, and again, uh, assembly, it's it's alright, you know, you put together, I'll say it's a little top heavy, but if you get it, you know, fastened in just the right way, it's going to be sturdy, and you won't have to worry about falling over. Um, some of the more smaller pieces, like his fingers and such, they're more bendy, plasticky, so they're not gonna break or snap. And again, the webbing's like kind of, you know, sturdy, but a little, you know, it's not gonna fall apart on you. And uh, yeah, again, you get the issue that's depicting and the card. And I'll, uh, my my closing statements on this. As you can see, I had to represent. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm a fan. I'm pretty hardcore about this. And, you know, just, uh, 
I don't know, I'll probably display it with this, but even still, like, I just, as is, it's just a nice piece. I didn't really give a good, like, look around, but, you know, it's pretty sturdy. I guess plasticky, the base mostly, and it's, like, harder PVC plastic, but, um, sharp details on the spider. There's actually a webbing. That's really nice, like, a translucent webbing beneath, like, the armpits. And, uh, yeah, they did a good job, like... I'm glad this is uh, in my collection now, and I'll be collecting some of the other ones. There's actually the the smaller scale uh, Venom that's coming out, and there's a Target exclusive signed signature edi edition, so I'm going to be tracking that down pretty soon. But again, I, I really, really wanted to cover this because, again, this is my era. I've been all about this in that specific time zone with all these, you know, the different arcs of the black suit and different artists, you know, Tom McFarlane, Mark Bagley, the whole incarnation of Venom, and again, David Michelini and Tom McFarlane, they created all that, and it's a nice, uh, <laughs> wow, here we are, so, cheers. <laughs> and just to send off, just want, really want to get it in close with all these uh, specifics I didn't do, again, just a little, well, not much of a review here, I'm just really just covering it. It's kind of like a get a little secret unboxing for you. <laughs> and tune in for more Futel XL stuff. I'll be streaming and doing all kinds of different content. Um, all my uh, websites and such will be connected. You'll see it here. All right. Peace out.